By the final generation of the chain reaction, around two million, 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 million uranium atoms have been fissioned. About 0.6 grams of mass have been converted into a massive 12.5 kilotons of energy in just six tenths of a microsecond. That's the power of a chain reaction and of E equals mc squared. Just 0.6 of a gram of mass converted into energy laid waste the city. The Hiroshima bomb, which was a small nuclear weapon by modern standards, killed about 70,000 people almost immediately. Caused radiation sickness and death by fire to another 70,000 people. Destroyed 80 or 90 percent of all the buildings in the city. It was absolutely devastating, and the world was never the same afterwards. All this destruction had come about because of an application of E equals MC squared. It's 9 a.m. Eastern War Time, and time for the CBS Morning News. The target Hiroshima is roughly the size of Memphis, Tennessee, or San Antonio, Texas. And that one atomic bomb has wiped out four and one-tenth square miles of Hiroshima. The Japanese, for their part, are already telling us that practically every living thing in Hiroshima has been burned to death and that the dead are too numerous to be counted. Einstein's response to the news of Hiroshima was horror. In a very terrible way, his formula had been demonstrated to the world in a sense for the first time. Einstein felt he had to bear some responsibility for the development of the atomic bomb. Because without his letter to President Roosevelt in 1939, no bomb would have been ready to drop on Hiroshima in 1945. Einstein's letter was critical because without it, America would not have started working on the bomb in time to have a bomb before the end of World War II. In later years, Einstein came to believe that writing the letter had been a mistake. I made one mistake in my life when I signed that letter to President Roosevelt advocating that the bomb should be built. But perhaps I can be forgiven for that, because we all felt that there was a high probability that the Germans were working on this problem, and they might succeed and use the atomic bomb to become the master race. His distress grew when the nuclear arms race began. Einstein realized that these nuclear weapons represented a threat to the world as a whole. He once remarked that bullets kill people, nuclear weapons kill cities. And that threat for him loomed more than anything else as a danger for the future of civilization. In the final decade of his life, Einstein now used his fame again, this time to warn the world it faced annihilation. He campaigned against the spread and development of nuclear weapons. One of his last acts was to sign a public declaration calling on world leaders to end war. Here then is the problem which we present to you, stark and dreadful and inescapable. Shall we put an end to the human race? Or shall mankind renounce war? But there is another side 
to E equals mc squared that only became clear after Einstein's death. A side that is altogether more wonderful. Because scientists have gone on to discover that E equals mc squared isn't just the equation of destruction, but also the ultimate equation of creation. We know that a small amount of mass can be converted into an enormous amount of energy. But the other side of the equation tells us something else, and that is that it's possible for energy to condense back into mass. This is the process that occurred at the very dawn of our universe, starting from the burst of energy known as the Big Bang. 15,000 million years ago, a singularity of pure energy created in the Big Bang evolved and condensed into material and matter over a period of millions of millennia. That energy slowly transformed into the mass that makes up everything in the universe. You could think of the story of the early universe as one long realization of E equals mc squared. The universe begins in a ball of energy and slowly turns into mass. Everything in our galaxy and everything on our planet even us, all in a sense exist because of the underlying workings of Einstein's equation. So everything that has happened and the reason why we are here is underpinned by e equals mc squared. Sadly, Einstein never lived to see that his equation was truly the equation of creation as well as destruction. Politics is for the moment, while an equation is for eternity. A hundred years ago, when he derived the equation, Einstein had no idea where his formula would lead. E equals mc squared would go on to transform science and our understanding of the world. For good, and for ill.